Coming up on Metrofile this week, the old boys of Government College Ugeli celebrate one of their own, the late renowned poet and playwright, Professor John Pepper Clark, in an evening of tributes. Also on the show, the family of ODJ buried their mother, late Mrs. Musumade Arike ODJ, in grand style. Well, it's the first edition of Metrofile in the month of December, and I can hear, thank God, we all made it to the last month of the year, putting into consideration how horrible the year has been so far. But in all, if you and I have a reason, look around, we'll definitely have one or two reasons to praise the Lord. And yes, I hope we'll be doing just that for the remaining days of the year and in the new year 2021. So it's another edition of the show. Thank you so much for joining me and kindly watch out for flash images. I am Ogi Chikose. Welcome to the program. Okay, let's turn our attention to Harbour Point in Lagos, where the evening of tributes was held in honor of late renowned poet and playwright Professor John Pepper Clark by the old boys of Government College Ugeli. Enjoy it. With great poetic collections like A Read in the Tide, Casualties, a Decade of Tongues, State of the Union, Mandela and other poems. Renowned poet and playwright Professor John Pepper Clark, popularly known as J.P. Clark, turned out to be one of the greatest poets in Africa. His works transcends not only on the continent but also on the global stage. Among his numerous iconic works, J.P. Clark's version of the poem Abiku together with that of Nobel laureate Professor Wale Shoyinka were one of the popular poems known by students of literary arts in secondary schools across the country. Many students fell in love with the arts owing to the creative works of the likes of Professor J.P. Clark and many other great literary minds and so it was indeed a huge sense of loss when the news of his passing on October the 13th, 2020 was announced. This loss is not just to his immediate family alone, but also the literary community all over the world. <music> Professor J.P. Clark's literary solid foundation started right from his secondary school days at the Government College Ugeli in Delta State, where he obtained his secondary education. Years after leaving school, he remained an active alumni, a nation's marina. is truly deserving of this evening of tributes put together by the old boys of Government College Lagos chapter in his honor. In this hall are mainly all students of Government College Ugeli. The family of Professor John Pepper Clark, led by his amiable wife, Professor Ebu Clark, as well as friends and well wishers. They've chosen this evening to celebrate his life, his works, and the legacy he's leaving behind. The occasion began with observing a minute silence in his honor. May the soul of our departed Professor J.P. Clark rest in perfect peace. I want to probably add some of that into it. I departed great ancient marina in the person of Professor John Pepe Black Peke de Remo. Professor J.P. Clark has been one of those principal Nigerian poets whose works have been studied far and wide. He was born in Kiabodo Delta State to Ijo parents in 1935. He was an extraordinary person. He was extraordinary in his pen. He was extraordinary in conversation. He was extraordinary in temperament. He was extraordinary in presence. 
and, and, and even in debt, he is still extraordinary. That is why his memory will be extraordinary. Professor John Pepper Clark obtained his first degree in English from the University of Ibadan and then went on to work both at UI and then later at the University of Lagos. While at Unilag, he taught lots of students who today are known in the Nigerian literary and dramatic space. One of them is theatre practitioner Tunji Shotimiri. <laughs> tributes for this great Nigerian and it came from different people across different sectors. I think he has taught a lot of us a lot of things. I pray for his family, his wife and his children. I wish you all the best and to have a father who has been so impressive and rise to be Professor Emeritus and this and that, and quite a loving man. A forthright man who will tell the truth regardless of what it's going to cost him, even if it was to cost him his life. So I continue to appreciate him, and from time to time, he will phone me. So he really, really was a lovely man. A celebrated man of letters with a huge sense of family, all that attested to by his children and other family members. I'd like to talk about the loving nature of my father. People talk about him being a very hot person, very erratic, etc., etc. But what I, yeah, we used to see those parts. But I think the love that my father had for us covered those parts. My father was a very loving person, and he was an extremely sensitive person. And that sensitivity lasted till the day he died. My father was extremely proud to be an old boy of Federal Government College in Gilly. He was very, very proud. And even more so, he was very, very proud about the work that was being done to ensure that the legacy continues. And on behalf of of my mother and my sisters, I would just like to say thank you so much. Thank you so much for this honor that you're giving him today. His colleague and friend, Professor Wale Shoyinka, was ably represented. My turn is personal reminiscent and I know JP will relish the brief paddle through the memory of true memory creeks. The trajectory of my relationship with the griot of ZD commencing in the 60s is what glows most luminously in the mind igniting lambs along the strange byways of closure in human ruptures. I've come to praise your name my I've come to worship you. I've searched around the world. There is no like you. Come on, let's go ahead, it. The chairman, organizing committee of the tribute night, engineer Alfred Okwego, gave the vote of thanks. Mine was only to just to say thank you, thank you, thank you all for honoring this invitation. And really, it's a sacrifice, a lot of sacrifice. For those of you who are able to make it, and there are people who are watching through the Zoom, 
but definitely Professor J.P. Clark deserves it, all of this. Until his death, Professor J.P. Clark continued to play active roles on literary affairs even after retirement, resulting in his receipt of the Nigerian Merit Award for Literary Excellence in 1991. Howard University published his two definitive volumes, The Ozidi Saga and Collected Plays and Poems between 1958 to 1988. He held visiting professorial appointments at several institutions of higher learning, including Yale and Wesley University in the United States of America. We salute a great Nigerian. We salute a literary icon. We salute Professor John Pepe Clark. Definitely his legacy will surely linger.